me let me say this. Let, this is my camera. That's it. Let me say this. Everybody's been wanting to know Keys and Bruce's opinion about Kiara, the trucking guru. Boss Talk 101 is where we finna get an exclusive about my thoughts and my opinion about Kiara, the trucking guru. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So, man, like, you you are one of those guys, like I said, again, man, you just, you thriving, you're doing everything you can to make sure you stay pushing that big reform. You know what I'm saying? You, I, I've heard a couple of cases. It was a lady. I don't know her name, but she was, uh, she, they had came up real hard on the, on the internet. I think you know her. She supposed, allegedly she had made a hundred million dollars. It was people talking about her trucking skills and, and saying that that was like it was cap, big cap. Right. They say it was big cap. Say she right. didn't make that kind of money. Right. And, and and I'm just trying to see, can you make that kind of money in the trucking business the way she explained it? Right. So let me, let me, let me, let me say this. Let, this my camera. That's it. Let me say this. Everybody's been wanting to know Keys and Bruce's opinion about Kiara, the trucking guru. Boss Talk 101 is where we finna get an exclusive about my thoughts and my opinion about Kiara, the trucking guru. Yeah. So everyone who's had something to say about this young lady, every single one of them, she's taking care of every single one of them. Wow. Every single one of them has laid on her floor at her house. She's paid for flights. She's paid for rooms. She's paid for meals. She's paid for all this out of her pocket. All these individuals who got something so negative to say about her. Also, this is how it starts out. Right now, they gonna approach her. I just wanna get in. I just wanna learn about the dispatch, you know. Cool. She assist you. She bring you in to where you can do a little dispatcher. Once she lets you in, now you starting to see other areas and other things in her operation that she got that she has going on. So now you feel like you supposed to you entitled to get even more. Now you want more. Now you want to do more. Now you seeing that she make an extra three hundred over her and she makes some extras over her. So you feel like you supposed to have the same thing. That's not the case. Kiara's been in the trucking industry for twenty years. It's impossible for you to think you gonna do in one year what done took her twenty years. She has relationships. She has connections that you don't obviously have. So when it concerns Kiara and, and 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 what I've heard about, I was disappointed more about the fact of the individuals that it was coming from, cause she's helped these people. You know what I'm saying? So she she basically is a uh, she. Get, let me get this straight. She owns she owns a business that employees a lot of. Uh, um, she employ a lot of truckers and and people who work in the trucking industry. Do she buy trucks? Explain so, it to me. So she owns trucking. She owns trucks. She started out dispatching trucks. She had a dispatch service. She has it to where individuals she teach you how to dispatch. Wow. And people think dispatching is a scam. There is no scam. If you book this load, you get ten percent of this load that you book. Where is the scam in that? I have a program and I tell people just because you take my program if you don't receive my results that don't mean I'm a scam because I don't know if you're willing to do the work that I'm going to do. I'm going to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to go to New York. I'm going to go to Chicago, Tennessee. I'm going to do all those things. I'm going to do whatever that's needed to be done versus you. Man, I ain't going way to no Tennessee, bro. Man, this weekend I'm trying to go to the Lil Flip concert or the or the Juvenile concert this weekend. Brewster gonna be saying the hell with the concert. I'm going to go do the load. Why did they? Why did? Why did they come so hard for her on the internet like that? Why did they? But she's actually an expert in a different industry. Black Queen makes over 100 million dollars in trucking without a driver's license. What happened? Well, one of the biggest reasons that they that they come for her like that because you know she has an exotic lifestyle. So individuals see 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 you with that type of lifestyle, they see the way you're living, and so obviously they gotta find some way to come knock you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying she's perfect, that she's made no mistakes, but I can tell you, these same very people that, that, that got so much negative to say about her, they still eating off of her right now. Wow. The skill that they using to get money from, they got it from her. Wow, man, and 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 I like I said, I, I just wanted to know because I heard her name just went crazy on the internet. Well, I mean, you know, let me say this: she a black woman, you know, she from Oak Cliff, so she got an exotic mouth. You know what I'm saying? And and, and her being the way she is, it brings that type of attention to her. But as far as just wanting to say she a scam and she a fraud, I mean, if that was the case, why she got all these? Uh, she's helped thousands of people. 
You, you know what I'm saying? She's helped thousands of people. You know, I see people talking about, well, she got kicked out of her mansion. Well, you want the woman to keep paying for something that these people ain't gave her? It's certain things that's supposed to come with this house, and they ain't did it, and they not doing You want her to keep paying it. No, she up, got her shit left, and guess where she at right now? Where she at? In another big, bad-ass mansion. So she can't be too broke. The woman riding around in Phantoms and, and, and Maybachs and Rolls Royces, and right now she's in a big old mansion overlooking the lake right now. So while we're so concerned with what she don't got and what she done lost, let's also focus on what she got right now. Wow. wow. Yeah, and she still got trucks moving. She still in a mansion. She still travel the world. I mean, you sitting on the internet talking down there, hey, her life ain't stopping. That's real. I, I, I get it, man. Like, uh, the one thing, you, you, you would definitely see how they basically, you know, on this internet, it's a thing where they always, they come for you. Have anybody came for you and your reform movement? Let's talk about oh, that. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Um, like, and how do you, how do you keep being so resilient, bouncing uh -huh. back? Uh, tenacious, you know what I mean? Keep being so at it. What, how, do you, how do you find that strength? Man, if you hating, I'm popping. That's real. Stay hating. Boy, I just survived 14 calendar years of the jungle. Do you hear me? I got all my teeth. I got my mentality. I got my heart, my pride, my manhood. It's nothing going on in society that's going to sidetrack me like that. So I've had different good dudes hating. No, he's a fraud. He's fake. Yo, this, man, I had one dude. I think he was in Atlanta. He was saying. I um, remember that. You remember that? Yes, I do. The dude going off. Man, this man say that. Uh, I think he tried to get on my show too. Yeah, listen to out, to, to, to out you. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Let me, but this how you how you heard him. He say that Brewster. Uh, I work in the rail yards. I work out here in these rail yards. These containers ain't moving. You correct. I don't get containers from no rail yards. Right. I work at the ports. I work at the ports. The rates and the numbers they down. I believe you. I don't get containers from the port, sir. I've never been inside of a port. So when I'm listening to the to the information that you present to me, I know you're bullshit because I'm listening to what you're saying. I don't even move containers in them areas, sir. Kedra and Brewster moves empty containers with a tilt bed trailer. I specialize in a tilt bed. The tilt bed is what's the is the special niche. This is the reason why they're gonna give me the bag. Cause I can load and unload myself. So when I'm hearing these accusations from these clowns, I'm kind of like, man, it's impossible for you to know me. Wow. Man, it's impossible for you to know me. All your information, it, it don't even, it's not even accurate, not even close. Bro, you said I get containers out of rail yards and depots. Excuse me, rail yards and ports. I've never been to a port, never been to a rail yard. Never. Brewster Logistics, everyone that's in my program, they have never been inside of a port or a rail yard. Wow, man, it's crazy how, and, and that's that's the, that's that's the part of the internet where people, you know, it's trolling on a whole nother level. Hey, but I'm gonna show you something, man. I'm super successful, man. That's real. I look good. Come I'm on, having a wonderful life, man. You supposed to be sitting over there trying to find some flaw in my game. That's real. While you study chasing to find that fault, I'm gonna be study chasing to get live. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.